Retro. Hey guys, you're watching Play Retro. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Javi. And today I'll be showing you guys how to flash Ambernix stock OS to the RG35XXH and the Plus. I've already done tutorials for both these handhelds on the channel before, but these videos quickly become outdated. So I wanted to drop another video just to do it to the latest one. So please, moving forward, this will probably be my last uh, tutorial video for these handhelds uh, as far as like the stock OS. But use this video as a reference guide on how to do this moving forward because the process is almost always the same. So uh, let, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting with some preparation. So what, what this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your micro SD card reader. I have one right here. You're gonna need two SD cards. This is a dual card setup. Um, the way Ambernic has set up their stock OS, you can only use uh, a 64 gig if you want to use one SD and you have to use their games and it's a whole process. I don't recommend that. I recommend a two card setup. So in this video, we're going to be doing a two card setup. Um, so you're going to need one 32 gigabyte for the OS and then 164 is what I'm recommending the size branded, of course, uh, SD card for your games. And then obviously I always use the same recommended brands, Samsung and SanDisk. Uh, as of late, actually, I've been using PNY and some team group cards. You can find these on Amazon for a little bit less often. So I've been messing with those. They're not too bad as well. And then programs. You're going to need a couple programs, Mini Tool Partition Wizard, Rufus, and 7-Zip. I will leave links for all of this in the description below uh, for your convenience. And then we're also going to need some the actual firmware, which we're going to grab from the site. So uh, let's get straight to it. Starting off with your 32 gigabyte SD card. Go ahead and put that into your computer. Okay, and I've already kind of gone ahead and kind of formatted this. You can see it's named RG35XX stock. Go ahead and close this one second. You're gonna open mini tool partition wizard here. Okay, and whatever is here, go ahead and right click this. You're gonna delete all partitions. Apply, yes. And then right here, you're gonna right click, create. In file system, you want it to be FAT32. If you want, you can go ahead and label this. Quite stock OS or whatever you want. And then I'm just gonna put R for RG. Okay. You hit apply and then okay, and then just give this a second to do its thing. Okay, so that's step one. You formatted your, your first SD card to FAT32. So you can go ahead and close out a mini tool. Quit, yes, okay. So now we're gonna go onto our browser. Uh, over here, I'm, I'm on Ambernix Direct website. This is their firmware page. I'm gonna give you guys a direct download to this page. For this example, I will be using my RG35XXH. If you're on the Plus, just grab the opposite firmware. So obviously, if you're here, grab the H. If you have a Plus, grab the Plus, okay? So I'm gonna grab the H just because I'm doing the H. You can click Download Now. It's gonna give you uh, a link to two different ones. You wanna grab the 16 gigabyte version. Okay, this is a basically a blank firmware. I'm gonna go grab this link, copy, and then we're gonna paste it into another tab. Okay, and then just click download here. And now you're gonna give this a second to just download. Now would be a good time to go dr grab a drink or something. Okay, so when this is done, you wanna open it to show in folder. And then you wanna basically just extract it. Now you don't need 7-zip for this part, for the, but for the next part, you do need 7-zip. So, so once you've extracted the first folder, inside this folder, you're gonna see a RG35XXH or plus uh, .rar file. So if it's .rar, you're gonna right click it, 7-zip, extract here. Now give this a second to do its thing. Okay, so when that's done, you should see an image file in here. That disk image file, I like you to just drag it onto your desktop just so it's very easy to find, okay? And you'll see in here, uh, Ambernic has provided us uh, a Rufus already, but it's kind of outdated, it's an old version, so I recommend you use a newer one. That's why I told you to download it uh, beforehand. We can close out of this now. And now we can start flashing. So open up Rufus. So in here you can go ahead and select uh, your SD card. Make sure in the right one. Mine's already labeled stock OS. And then you're going to click 
uh, select right over here. Then right over here on your desktop, you should see that image file. Go ahead and open that. And the only thing you have to press here is start and then OK. So now give this a second to just write the image. It shouldn't take too long. Okay. Okay, so when this is done, you're gonna see all these folders in here. You go ahead and close out of Rufus now. So you can see right here, it took me about seven minutes to get this done. Just so you guys know, um, if you have a faster SD card, it might it may go a little bit faster, but just keep in mind, this is a 16 gigabyte image, so it's, it might take a little while. So seven minutes for me, hopefully around the same for you. So yeah, really quick, I want you to go ahead and close that and I want you to eject that SD card. And now go ahead and take this out and replace it with your other SD card. So we're gonna set this one up as well while we're already on the computer. So, so this is D card. Go into mini tool partition wizard once again. Whatever is in here, go ahead and uh, delete all partitions. Apply yes. Okay, then you're gonna right click, create. Again, file system has to be FAT32. And then you can label this if you want, just to um, make sure you don't forget. So this is going to be RG35XXH. Okay. And then press OK, press Apply, and then Yes. Now I'll give this a second to do its thing. And then boom, that's all we need to do to SD card number two. It's just formatted to FAT32. So you can go ahead and close out of this. And then we can safely eject this and get off the computer for a second. Okay guys, so I got my H, my two SD cards right here. Go ahead and take your 32 gigabyte SD card and put that into TF1 internal. Remember it goes this way. Second SD card into TF2 external. Okay, now let's power this thing on. Okay, so the logo is gonna flash three times. It doesn't take that long, and this is what it's gonna look like. And now it doesn't have any games or anything on it, but our first boot is done. So we can go ahead and power this off. And now we're gonna go back on the computer and load this up with all our games and our BIOS files and our save files. Okay, so we're back on the computer. And really quick, I did wanna show you on your first SD card, you will find a BIOS folder in here. And the cool thing about uh, Ambernic BIOS is that they give you all the BIOS files already. So you can see in here, this is absolutely loaded with BIOS files. So you don't have to worry about BIOS files, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and inject this and put in my uh, second SD card. So now go ahead and take your second SD card, put in the computer. And now let's load this up with some games. So in here, you'll find a folder named ROMs. Go ahead in here. And now you'll find folders corresponding to a bunch of uh, different systems. So now if you want, you can copy over from your stock SD card. Go ahead and put your stock SD card into your computer and just copy those folders onto your computer and then move them into this one. Or if you don't, if your stock SD card is completely corrupted, you can download something called Tiny Best Set Go. Um, just Google that Tiny Best Set Go. I'll leave a I'll leave something in the description related to that. Um, but yeah, that's a good um, set you can use if you want like just a, a a good collection of games you can use. I'm gonna be just using the Tiny Best Set Go. So yeah, you can pretty much if they have the exact same name, you can pretty much drag and drop them into. Uh, the corresponding folders so this is fc just go ahead and put it into roms and it'll copy it and do the same thing for almost all the folders some of them have different names i'll show you right now okay do neo geo pc engine these three down here are the same names Okay, so if you're using Tiny Best Set Go, uh, Master System is SMS right over here. So just go ahead and copy this 
quick shortcut is control a for select all and you can copy that over into here boom just like that and then you also have this is Atari 2600 we don't have a folder for that and then arcade you can throw into MAME okay and then just like that we're pretty much done uh, the last thing you want to do is if you do have some saves there's a save folder in here you can throw your saves in here if you have any saves you have from your uh, stock SD card that you are using you want to keep go ahead and throw them in here they may work they may not work but you can at least try so transfer over your saves into this folder okay and with that, just go ahead and safely eject it off the, uh, off the computer. Okay, so now take that second SD card, put it back into your TF2. Now fully loaded with all your games, your save files. And let's power this on. Okay, here we are. Play something, see how this is. I'd say that's pretty good. So yeah, you're gonna notice there's a few things in here. You're not gonna have any box art. That's the only unfortunate part about this. But you can scrape the box art and just put it in these folders. Uh, let me know if you guys wanna see a, a box art tutorial for this. It's, it's pretty easy, it's not too bad. And then also if these noises bother you, you go ahead into here and turn off button sound. And now they'll be quiet for you. There's also an app sensor here. You have a music player, ebook reader, file manager, and expert mode, which is really nice. So yeah, guys, that's how you flash a newly updated stock OS for the RG35XXH and the RG35XX Plus. Let me know if this video was helpful. If you guys run into any issues, you're more than welcome to come to my Discord. I will leave a, a link in the description to my Discord where you can uh, contact me directly and we can talk. And if you guys need help, uh, you guys run into any issues, uh, I'm more than happy to help you guys out. But yeah, have fun with your handheld. Happy gaming.